Hi, my name is Taylor Gast, and uh, we are talking about vendor management programs and uh, how a vendor management program can help a business uh, address uh, various risks that arise when uh, working with various vendors, third parties uh, that might be receiving sensitive information or business information. And a successful vendor management program should really have three parts. Uh, inventory, assess, and address. Uh, and when we're talking about the first step, inventory, we really want to take a broad view of all of the third parties that a business might be working with. Um, this could include pretty obvious third parties that the business is working with, like um, outsourced IT uh, or cloud uh, storage. Um, could be talking about you know, even suppliers or distributors or even facility supports that, you're, uh, that, that your business is working with. We might also be talking about employee benefits providers as well. Um, and what we really want to be thinking about is what information is your business transferring to those third parties? How risky and potentially sensitive is that information? Um, how frequently is that information being sent? And what controls uh, does your business have, have installed uh, internally to address risks? And what do you know of that the third party is, uh, is doing to protect your data? We want to do sort of an initial assessment of those vendors uh, to come up with kind of a, a general understanding of their risk level. And if, you, if your business is doing this as part of a broader uh, uh, privacy program, you might already have uh, objective measures or some sort of measurement system, whether it's you know, green, yellow, red, or some other uh, gauge for how risky you know, certain activities are. And it would be great to sort of incorporate this measurement into the same, same sort of measurement that you're using elsewhere. Um, and the goal is really to come up with how you're going to assess uh, these, these vendors. And in some cases, you may not need to reach out to them and, and do more. But oftentimes, what we find is it's really worth going back and, and sending over some questions, doing a little digging, coming up with a questionnaire um, at minimum uh, to investigate exactly what is this business doing with your businesses or your employees or your customers' data. Um, so what we want to come up with in this second, uh, the second step, uh, the assess step, is a questionnaire, is, is really usually the focus. And that questionnaire should really have targeted, tailored questions that are designed to gauge the risk of um, compliance, non-compliance, uh, you know, business risks that might arise with, with the transfer of information. And, you know, often what we find is businesses are a little hesitant to do some of these, uh, take some of these actions and send these questionnaires out because they think that it might hurt the, the relationship with their supplier, for instance. Um, and, and the response here is really that this does not need to be a, uh, a tense back and forth uh, question and answer session. This doesn't need to be an audit necessarily of, of, the, of the relationship. In fact, this can be an opportunity for the business to open up discussions and, and really just learn more about, uh, about the, the third party. It can actually be a, a really good opportunity. Um, so, you know, what, what we want to do here is, is really um, take these questions and compare them to industry standards, regulatory requirements, risk levels, and business goals to come up with um, something that's going to add value to your business's understanding of how it's working with this third party. Once the business receives uh, the, the vendor's um, answers back, uh, we move on to this third, the third step, which is address. Um, so we're going to use this assessment, these questionnaires, to really uh, assess, to spur conversation, to deepen our understanding uh, between the business and the third party. Um, what, might, uh, what might the business do as a reaction is, is, is the big question. What are the actual action steps that the business can take as a response? So it really depends on um, where your business is at uh, in relation to this third party. If this is a uh, pre-engagement stage, we might be comparing between several vendors and we might use the answers that are received uh, as a way to, to, to compare. You know, you know, if, if one business has significantly better, consistently better responses, 
you know, maybe it's a better fit. Uh, if, you know, if it's not the case, maybe we need to look elsewhere. Um, more often than not, though, we're talking about a post-engagement uh, examination of a, of, a, of a vendor relationship. And when that's the case, uh, we're using it oftentimes to spur conversation as an, as an initial uh, point. You might take a site visit to that, to that vendor, uh, to that third party, especially if it's a very close uh, relationship. If we're talking about a supplier that you're working with on, the, on a regular basis. Um, where there are deficiencies that, are, that, are, that arise uh, with these questionnaires, we're looking for corrective action, and we really want to get that corrective action in writing. If we're talking about broader risks, we might all go, as, go as far as renegotiating a contract. Um, oftentimes, we might not want to go so far as to renegotiate the contract, so there are other options, uh, you know, like a contract addendum that might be added on that could be negotiated. Um, and where there are really significant risks that just can't be addressed, uh, it might just be time to, to look elsewhere. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, really want to just hammer home the point that uh, the goal here is to find and retain the vendor that is going to be the best fit, the best fit for your business, and is to bring the, bring the most value to your business. Um, again, we don't want a uh, general, broad, vague audit report at the end of this that's going to lead to you know, not a lot of value for your business. We want something that is going to be actionable, that's going to be useful, um, and is going to really strengthen, more, more likely than not, your relationship with your, with your third party's vendors. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me or go onto our website. Thank you.